Hi guys, this is Patrick for Screen Studio and today I'm releasing Screen Studio 1.2.0 and I'm gonna show it to you right away. So let's launch Screen Studio 1.2.0. Uh, I won't be able to do all the options available because I'm currently recording with Screen Studio 1.2.0 but we'll do a tour of the options available, which are really nice. So let's start first with Screen Studio, the first tab, Record tab. Uh, the settings uh, have been a little bit updated now, integrating 10, 1080p, uh, 720p, 480p, uh, 360p and 240p. So more options are, are available for uh, the different profiles. Uh, to record. In the streaming tab, uh, basically same options, but uh, I've upgraded also and updated the settings for Twitch TV, Hitbox, Ustream, which is also called Generic, and YouTube Live. Uh, let's start with uh, Twitch TV. It's the same as before, but now you have access to 1080p uh, 720p, 480p, 360p, and 240p. Yeah, uh, and uh, settings have been uh, updated to match requirements of the server. It should work. Uh, then with Headbox, now I have more uh, servers listed instead of the default one, and also settings have been uh, updated to match. Uh, the um, I'm gonna say it to match the recommended settings from Headbox. Um, I've improved also the uh, keyframes on the uh, while broadcasting. Uh, by default, it was set to um, 60 uh, gr a grouping of 60. If you know about AVConf, now it's based on um, the um, the number of seconds and based on your frame rate so uh, if you are broadcasting like I do at 10 frames per second on this computer uh, then the grouping will be done at 20 uh, with a value of 20 for the parameter dash J uh, dash G dash G yeah uh, okay so I did some Im some improvement there uh, still uh, the different profiles you have there your key and ultra fast and also YouTube live now has the primary and backup URLs set up in seems to work all the time uh, if case uh, some settings would not work then you simply use the generic one and enter the full URL and your key into the field to broadcast to any RTMP servers so that's for uh, the streaming part where uh, there are more options and uh, it should work better uh, if your broadcasting is a little bit blocky then simply uh, use a preset with a lower setting meaning uh, that your computer should uh, work a little bit harder though then uh, okay let's go into options uh, some of you want to may want to uh, have their custom configuration files. So in, now instead of going to the website and download the XML file, you simply go in the option menu, uh, go in advanced, and uh, simply export XML to file. So save it. It will be saved by default in your video folder, and from there use it and do whatever you want with these settings beware that the format has changed a bit with 1.2.0 uh, it should work with previous versions but have a look there there were some a lot of tweaks in there on the parameters and should be better now okay uh, that's for screen studio options uh, the capture area has been updated also now you can select uh, predefined uh, size if you want to capture perfectly in 720 480p uh, 720 by 480 and uh, simply drag there and click select so that's for the capture of the area screen 
Okay, now moving on to the overlay. Totally different in this release. Now you have access instead of simply selecting a title and a subtitle and uh, some image. Now you have access to an HTML file or HTML content. Uh, basically what you need to do is use sim simple HTML tags and just put your text in there. Uh, if you don't know much about HTML, simply use an HTML editor, uh, put your stuff in there. But basically the default one, the one you're currently seeing, uh, should work and you just have to change titles. It does support uh, basic uh, style sheet but uh, don't expect too much there's no javascript in there so basically html tags some uh some styles can be applied uh it's a matter of uh, testing if it if uh, screen studio is able to parse the, to parse your file and get the proper result as you can see right here if i click preview you will see that this is the setting i'm currently using but if you want your overlay to be into a file as I did here you see I have already a file here you can't delete everything and just drag and drop here so it has to be a fully qualified URL to your file and that URL also could point to uh, a web server it doesn't matter it just has to be a fully qualified URL to load the file and I've created an, a simple HTML file uh, the, it doesn't really look good but the idea was to show you what you could do and there we go so in this overlay uh, my title and subtitles are at the top right uh, my icon my logo is a little bit uh, uh, smaller and I've created um uh, border for my webcam so my webcam webcam would show here so i simply set an overlay here with pure html and then created a border around my whole stream using plain html and style sheets so it's kind of up to you to create your perfect overlay using HTML, a combination of images. Uh, that image here, the, the logo is actually pulled from the website and not locally from my computer. It's just a matter of imagination. Just do whatever you want. And the good thing also is that you can test uh, in, in, uh, in your browser if it does look good and then eventually uh, paste the content directly here in the text editor or simply point with a URL to the file you want to use and uh, you have a vertical alignment that you can apply I, oh, I called it vertical anyway it's an alignment you can say that the content of your HTML file will be aligned by default to the bottom but it c could be aligned to the top to the bottom right or to the top right depending on what you want to do and still you have your webcam layout showed here uh, so you can put it uh, wherever you want on your uh, on your recording and then in sources same as usual select your screen your FPS uh, your webcam uh, your two s audio source the microphones and the monitors and then there's a new tab in there yes options yeah it's not really thrilling but anyway options does give you access to a global shortcut key from uh, to start and stop recording so basically by default you have two uh, shortcuts one for recording locally and one for streaming just select the combination and the letter or the, the key you want to use to start your start and stop your recording or to start and stop your streaming and uh, I cannot show it to you uh, as if I trigger the shortcut I will stop that recording so it wouldn't work but basically when you close screen studio by pressing the X here it will ask you 
Do you want to exit Screen Studio or do you want it to be running in the background? If you click OK, then Screen Studio will disappear, but it, it will stay here at the top. And then you can use the shortcuts to stop and start the recording uh, as you would do from the menu or from the remote control. But uh, if you want to show it back, just right click on the icon and simply click show and it will come back. So that's Screen Studio 1.2.0. Um, I think it's a good improvement over the previous version. Uh, does provide a little bit more uh, options there. Um, eventually what I think is I will work on the overlay to have some predefined overlays that you could use from the website so you can look at the overlay say hey, I want that that overlay drag and drop and uh, just change uh, the content or the titles or whatever now with the HTML overlay the thing is that you can put not just a title and a subtitle, but you can put whatever you want in your overlay. Uh, I've tried some dynamic, dynamic, blah, dynamic uh, overlays, like it would change while you're recording and streaming. Uh, the main issue is uh, since I have to refresh the picture for the overlay for each frame, it does require a really more powerful computer. So for now, I'm just putting that aside and keeping the static content as I'm I'm doing with Screen Studio from the start. Basically, if you want to have stuff moving around, look at Webcam Studio. Webcam Studio is really m more powerful uh, at doing this kind of stuff. Okay, so now you saw Screen Studio, never heard about it. Where do you get it? Simply go to the website screenstudio.crams.com and then you can download I'm still updating the website but you can download the binary archive okay what happened to the jar it's in the binary archive the thing is um, to support uh, the global shortcuts uh, I had to use some libraries uh, to make that available so now you download the archive uncompress the archive and follow the other stuff as before um, if you're using the PPA, just don't worry about it. Uh, the, uh, the installer will take care of putting everything in place. But if you're using the binary ar archive, then that's what you need to use. Um, there's a new dependency now for Screen Studio. I need for Screen Studio the lib GNA library for uh, Java which uh, let me uh, uh, link to the OS to access the global shortcut keys. Um, so that's a little bit different, but it does provide more features. So I think it was a nice move to do. Uh, and if you, if you want to download uh, the, uh, the source code, simply click the download link and uncompress the content uh, install NetBeans 8, simply load the project into NetBeans, make sure you have uh, libgna installed and uh, available and uh, it should compile by itself. For the global shortcut keys, I've, be, I've used, um, uh, what's the name of the library, it's really cool, I uh, just don't remember the name, oh, where is it, I'll go in my downloads. Uh, da, da, da. J Key Master. I'm using that project to access the uh, shortcuts, and uh, that project seems to be uh, really good. And uh, it, uh, it's it's really cool to look for J J Key Master uh, if you have uh, want to have more information about that project. So um, you've downloaded the uh, Screen Studio app and you're using it to to uh, broadcast to Hitbox or Ustream or uh, Twitch, whatever. Uh, you can share your videos in the community on G Plus called Screen Studio or your comments or you can ask questions. Uh, the co community is quite live. I think uh, we've reached uh, 124 members. Cool. And you also have the Facebook 
uh, page for Screen Studio at facebook.com Screen Studio Live. Uh, live because the name Screen Studio was already taken. Couldn't do, like, couldn't have it. Currently, uh, I'm having like 17 members in the Facebook page. Um, that's it for the new release of uh, Screen Studio 1.2.0. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them below that video or in the, in the G Plus community or on the Facebook page. Uh, if you have questions, uh, something that doesn't work and you want to have more details, uh, some people are tweeting on my Twitter account with their questions. Uh, the thing is, it's not the right place to do it as um, we cannot start a, large, a long discussion as we're limited in the text content. So simply go in the G Plus community or the Facebook community. Uh, it will make it easier to follow up and uh, try to fix stuff it, if it doesn't work. Basically, Screen Studio was uh, built on Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, I'm not targeting supporting all the distros, but um, if you're using some distro uh, and Screen Studio is not working, join the community and maybe together we'll find a solution and eventually a fork could be created uh, or a package could be created specifically for the distro you're currently using. So I think that's it. Now just grab your browser, download the latest version, have fun with it and thank you for watching and thank you for supporting Screen Studio. Uh, I really enjoyed that project and as usual see you another time and this time i'm going to start the recording by using the global shortcut keys uh, what is it oh yeah there we go bye